Hello and welcome to Toilet Talk. As you can see, I'm not in my usual toilet. I also not wearing a tie. And to be honest, this is not tea. This is sparkling water. This is a toilet at work in San Francisco because I'm here for work. And I would totally do it here if you weren't for the bad acoustics, but also the toilet doesn't have like a cover. So I don't want to do the video sitting on this. But luckily for me, this building has lots of amazing walls. There's a lot of art installations across the building. So I think I'm going to do toilet talk in one of them. So here we are in one of the walls. And this is kind of toilet themed because Pulp Fiction is all based around the kind of books that you read in the toilet. In fact, there are lots of scenes of people sitting on the toilet reading in Pulp Fiction. So there you go. See? It's toilet themed, toilet related. So I'm only missing the tie. Oh, and the tea. Okay. In today's episode of Toilet Talk, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories of me hanging out with people I had never met before. If you've been watching my San Francisco vlogs, you notice that I got in the car with someone I never met before and we had dinner and it was pretty fun. But it wasn't the craziest of all stories of me hanging out with people I never met before. Now, just so you know, I don't do this often. <laughs> it was just... Uh, you will see, you will see. And I only got in the car with Peter because I saw, well, he's a kid's pastor in a big church, you know, he's, he's not a crazy person, he should probably be fine. But there was a time when Twitter was a place when people would make friends and talk instead of just yelling at each other. At that time, I made friends with someone from Tasmania. One day I said, oh, you're from Tasmania, I really want to go to Tasmania one day. And she said, oh, if you go to Tasmania, come to my house to have some tea. And I thought, oh cool, that's a cool invitation. She's a Christian and older than me, has a family. I thought, that's pretty cool. So when I went to Tasmania, I told her. And then we worked it out and we met in a public place in the city. And I went to her house and we had a cup of tea. <laughs> Some of my friends were like, what? Are you gonna go to someone's house? You never, what the heck? It was fine. It, actually, there's a funny story about that. <laughs> I had rented the car, so I drove to where we were supposed to meet, and there she was sitting on a bench or something. I think she had a friend with her just to make sure that I was not crazy, right? Because, you know, be safe. <laughs> you need to be safe. And then she got up, I was like, oh, let's go. And then she opened this other car's door, not my car, and sat and started putting the seat belt, but in the passenger seat. And I was like, oh, so do you want me to drive your car? And she, <laughs> she was like, oh, this is not your car, and then quickly got out. She got into some random person's car, thinking it was the car that I came in. It was, it was really funny. A few years later, she came to Sydney, she came to my house, met Shelly, met Amelie. Was Amelie born at the time? I think so? I, I can't remember. But that's an even more bizarre story. While I was in Tasmania, again, Tasmania, Tasmania, in the city called Stanley. It's a really, really small town. There's only like one main road. I went to the Stanley Nut, which is like a rock formation where you go on top and it was really windy. And then I went to the tourist information thing on this, in the Stanley Nut. And then there was this guy there, older than me, by like 20 years or something. I don't, I don't remember, something like that. And then we talked and he was like, oh, you're from Sydney. Oh, come to my house tonight. Let's have some, a glass of wine. And I was like, uh, <laughs> I didn't, like, I wanted to be polite. And I said, no, I have plans already. I'm going to dinner. You know, he gave me his address. I was like, okay, let's see, let's see. Of course, that's not, was not in my plans. Okay, it was not in my plans. However, <laughs> I was driving in the city in this one road, right? It's on one main road. And somehow there he was a, a couple of hours later. And he saw me. He was like, oh, hey, Carlos. And I couldn't just like drive off. That's rude. And he's like, oh, yay, cool, I saw you again, come to my house. I was like, oh, no, but I'm going to have dinner at this restaurant. I even pointed at the restaurant because, you know, not many options. It was a really small town. He's like, oh, it's okay, my house is just here. Pointed to his house and said, come after dinner and let's have a glass of wine. And <laughs> it was such a small city. I, maybe he would find me in my hotel if I didn't show up. <laughs> uh, so so this is what I did. I texted a friend and said, didn't text Shelly because I didn't want to freak her out. I texted a friend and said, I'm going to have wine with this guy at this address. If I don't text you in an hour, call the police. <laughs> I'm still here, so everything was fine, obviously. But I went there and uh, I went to the kitchen, watched him pour the wine in the glass. I don't actually drink that much anyway, I only drank a little bit. Made sure he drank first, waited for him to drink a little bit more. And turned out he just wanted someone to talk to. And we talked about, he, he went to Vietnam. I had gone to Vietnam recently as well. And he showed me all the things he bought. I think he just, I think he just wanted someone to talk to. He also had kangaroos as pets in his backyard. Like, it's Tasmania, Tasmania is a, is a place like that. It's where people, people are, are, are interesting. Let's just live like that. By the way, Dan, my friend Dan, he's from Tasmania. 
that says a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think I'm crazy? Have you ever done anything like this before? <laughs> My friends were furious with me, like... Oh gosh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Toilet Talk, not in the toilet. I need to go to the airport and catch a plane to Sydney. I'm still in San Francisco. There's all sorts of vlogs on this trip. You can check it out over there. And I'm, I'm gonna go. I, I need to catch a plane. I think I might be a bit late already. Let me show you the rest of this wall though, because it's it's on point. This building has lots of art installations on the walls, but this is my favorite. Maybe one of my favorites, if not my favorites, just. I love movies, I love movie posters, this is, this is fascinating. Look how awesome, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, and Jaws, look at all this, it's just, it's just, just, it's so good, I really love it. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of Toilet Talk, and I will definitely not see you tomorrow on the Toilet Talk, but see you tomorrow in my vlog. Bye. My favorite comment from the mostly greatest welcome home ever is from Mirror Squeak Games, where she says, the first shout out of the plane window looks sick, thank you. And great vlog, no matter how short it is, family comes first, that's right. And then she also said a, a follow-up comment that says, the matching shirt's so cute. I think they're pretty cute as well. <laughs> if I can say so myself.